Hello everyone, I am Eugenio Mariani, PhD student of the first year from Università Politecnica del Marche. My tutor is Professor Francesco Canestari and my presentation deals with the innovative monitoring of asphalt surface characteristics. The outline of this presentation is background and objectives, materials and methods, results and analysis, and finally, future activities. In 1916, the Werner Schulz device was developed in Germany. Many research are focused on the correlation between friction after polishing pop, resulting from the Werner Schulz and polishing stone value PSU, and to investigate the polishing of different aggregate type. The main objectives of my research activities are Find a more reliable method to estimate the pavement friction characteristics. Correlate laboratory friction measure with field friction measure. And find a limit of FAP for Italian technical specification. A total of 14 implant production asphalt mixers are investigating in Kyrgyz. 7 porous asphalt. 4 asphalt concrete and 3 semi porous asphalt characterized by different high body content. A minimum of 2 repetitions were tested for each mixture. As for the production of the specimen, the asphalt mixture are heating for 3 hours in the oven at 116 degrees Celsius. Then the hot asphalt mixture are compacted with the roller compactor obtain rectangular slab 5 cm high. Finally, the slab are cut to square dimension equal to 22.5 cm and required for the test. What is Wayne Schultz? Wayne Schultz device is a laboratory equipment for the investigation of pavement friction at a different step of polishing. It is composed by two units, polishing unit and test unit. The polishing unit simulates the effect of polishing of the tire on the pavement surface by means of three rubber rolls which rotate at 500 rpm and the blend of the water and quartz powder. The test uh, unit measures friction value to the breaking of three rubber slider on the surface of the specific whose initial velocity is 100 km per hour. Now we can see the output of results of the when shields. First figure show one single measurement of friction. This data is interpolated by six order polynomial to find the friction at 16 km per hour. F16 is defined uh, the for each number of passages for draw the second figure that is the friction curve. The friction decreases at a growing number of passes, and the friction after polishing uh, is the average between the two at least tests. The next slide shows different FAP curve uh, for each asphalt mixture. Figure showed the porous asphalt results in terms of friction after polishing. We can see how the value of friction are between 0.3 and 0.4, low friction value. After polishing, at a number of passage equal to 180,000, the bitumen is not removed in the most of the scene, except for the porous asphalt number 11 and 22. In the figure, draw with a different color and type of line. It is possible to see the binder removal marker with the white circle on the specimen in the picture. Equal to previous slide, the uh, figure uh, shows the asphalt concrete results in terms of friction after polishing. We can see how the value of friction are relative high between 0.4 and 0.5. After polishing at a number of passages equal to 180,000, the bitumen is not removed in the most of the specimen. 
and we can see a residual rubber from the rollers on the surface. The polishing area is marked in the picture. Now, in this figure, I'll show you the semi porous asphalt results in terms of pump. The performance of this asphalt mixture are positioned between porous asphalt and asphalt concrete, range of fat equal to uh, 0.3 and 0.4. Only one of three have relative high value. After polishing like to other asphalt mix, the bitumen is not removable on the specimen. The polishing area is marked in the picture. In conclusion, the figure shows the comparison of asphalt mixture uh, when uh, porous asphalt and semi porous asphalt mixture show lower friction value than asphalt concrete mixture, likely due to the reduced contact between gliders and aggregates. The second figure shows a maximum value of friction in relation to the corresponding number of passages of polishing. Where the maximum value of friction corresponding at the zero passage, uh, probably the specimen no have a binder removal. The friction properties uh, of the mixture will be correlated with uh, aggregate and bitumen properties. The future activities. As mentioned in the previous one, the friction properties of the mixture will be correlated with the aggregate and the bitumen properties, as well as the micro texture. Core specimen extracted from the pavement will be tested and will seek a correlation between the Wenner-Schultz polishing and the polishing due to traffic, as well as between laboratory and field friction measurements. For example, with the side force coefficient routine investigation machine. Screen. Thanks for your attention.